Good morning, y'all. This is Shereen with Passionate Penny Pincher. It's good to see y'all today. Today, we're going to take this pumpkin and turn it into something that Pottery Barn, I don't know that they have them this year, but I think it was last year or two years ago, charged like $80 for us. So we're going to do a do with this cute jack-o'-lantern, and you can use a regular pumpkin, you know, that didn't have the face, too. Um, that's what we did this weekend. My girls and I got together, and we had a craft day, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a treat. So fun. So here's what you need. You need a pumpkin. This is from Lowe's. It's just a hollow pumpkin. It, it does have a light, um, but you can get them from Michael's, whatever. They don't have to be hollow. You need some paint, and you need some baking soda, and that is it. I'm going to take my watch off so I can get um, paint on it. So that is all we're doing. It's going to be so fun. So we're going to get to it. It's going to take me a minute to get this painted. So this color is Pottery Urn from Sherwin-Williams. I got a sample. I don't know if the sale's still going on, but they had 40% off when I got it. So this was $6. And this is a fair amount of paint, and it really didn't take very much. Now, my daughter-in-law got, um, hers was called um, Clay Pot. I think she got it at Home Depot. And I did notice, you see the color, that I'm going to pour it in here. Um, I did notice that uh, Sherwin Williams have one also called, I think, Clay Pot that looks more like terracotta. So that's kind of the look we're going for terracotta, kind of stonish look. So you take, let me go down a little bit more. You take some paint. Good morning, Jennifer. Um, so yeah, she said this is my sign to decorate for fall. We're going to take this. Now, what you want to do is add some baking soda to it. Now, we're not measuring, we're just going with the flow. You want it to get kind of thick, but not too thick, because this is gonna kind of give it the texture that we're going for to make it look like terracotta. Y'all, I have been seeing the crazy, crazy expensive pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Like, apparently concrete pumpkins are a thing right now. Um, and there's a dupe to make those too. My daughter was like, we should do the concrete ones. And I'm like, yeah, but then you gotta store them. I think it would be really cute and fun, but I don't know if I'm up to it. Because I don't want to have to store concrete. It's too heavy. Okay, I think this is about a good consistency. So, all we're going to do is just paint now. And then I've got my handy dandy hair dryer to uh, help this go a little bit faster. I want to get y'all where you can. Okay, hold on. This may make y'all dizzy for a minute. Let me get y'all where I can see comments. And y'all can, sorry you're looking at my ceiling right now. Um, there we go. I can see comments. Y'all can see this better, although that may not be good. May, oh, I gave y'all the sneak peek of what it's going to look like. Okay. Is that good? I think that might be good. I don't know. Maybe it was better. Y'all tell me if it's better for me to just be there. I don't think y'all are going to be able to see it if I do that. That's what we're going for, y'all. Okay. Y'all are going to be like, get with it. I'm going to switch all back. I don't think that's going to work. I think this is going to be better. Let me just put y'all up high. And I just may not be able to see. I'm trying to get it. If the comments are in the way, that's what I'm trying to avoid. All right. Let me just get with it and quit talking. We're going to paint this sucker up. And then, so it's easy. You're just painting. No primer, nothing. You can slap it on. Um, so if y'all have questions, I'll try to see, but it's super easy, super doable in a very short amount of time. Now, my other one took two coats, but I'm kind of hoping that today we might get away with one. We'll see. I can always go back. I'm not going to worry with the bottom either since we're on live. I really probably should have had one already ready. Like that was kind of the plan, but I was like, I don't need three of these. And we had a girls, um, well, we had family day on Sunday, which was so fun. And the girls did a craft, and this was our craft. So they all have them, so I didn't really have anyone to give one to, as far as my girls go. This is covering pretty well. Going fast. Okay, if y'all missed the name of the paint, I will tell y'all again in a minute what it is. 
this is more of a taupey brownish kind of color. I'm going to go ahead and paint the stem too. I mean, I am literally, I'm slapping it on. Like there's no, you don't have to be fancy. Um, now, yeah, it's going to get a little bit messy here in a minute with the, we're going to do something else to it. But, and we did do these outside when we did them. So if you're doing a bunch, I do recommend doing it outside because the last step, this is going way faster than the, the bigger one that I did. So I'm very glad that I chose to do the little one on Facebook Live. So it's not taking forever. I don't want to waste y'all's time. I'm trying to try to get into the eyes and the mouth. Can y'all see? Get in there. want to get it all covered. Yeah, I think the more baking soda you add, the better coverage you're going to get. It kind of makes it like a chalk paint almost, in a way. Now I just got that on my hand. Okay, I'm going to need to set that down for a minute. Okay, if y'all got any questions, let me tell y'all what this is called. This is called Pottery Urn, and this was Sherwin Williams. Now, you don't need this much. The smaller samples at Home Depot uh, was enough for my daughter-in-law to do three. And she did a big, medium, and a small one with that. So, I'm trying to figure out how. I should have done the mouth and everything first. I may just skip that. Or I may. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to we'll get the hair dryer and we're going to blow it out for a minute. See all these little crevices I need to get into with his mouth and everything. So we'll just continue on. I guess there's nothing like watching paint dry, right? It's kind of like watching a boil, a pot boiling, waiting for a pot to boil. Y'all may have seen this. This I feel like. There's been a lot of Instagram reels and stuff with this dupe. I just thought it was so cute. My daughter-in-law found it, and she was like, can we make these? And I was like, yes, let's do it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go over a few little spots that I missed, and then I'll probably dry it again, and then we're going to do the finishing touch, and it will be ready to go. Like I said, I'm skipping the bottom. You can go over it as many times as you want, it, want to. My daughter-in-law, like, she was using the clay pot, so hers was more terracotta, and she went really thick on hers and gave it more texture than I feel like mine got. I need to do the skin a little bit more. And then I'll show you all, I'll show you when um, it all lit up too. Okay, here's my question. Do y'all decorate for fall? Or do you decorate for Halloween? Or do you do, you bo do both? Or is it like a combo? Because I really have never done Halloween much at all. But this year, you know, I made that really cute ghost and I have it on my front door. He's so cute. And then now I have my little jack-o'-lanterns. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if I got... If I got all the mouth done. 
Um, Y'all let me know, because I'm curious. Um, I've just never been a big Halloween decorator, and there are some cute little things out, but I don't want it to be scary. Okay, I think mean, this is good, good enough for Facebook Live. Okay, so here's what you want to do. You want this to still be a little damp, but not um, wet, because we are going to sprinkle baking soda on it, and if it's going to, if it's too wet, it's going to get all clumped up and everything, so there's a fine line. Now, we, we were outside, so the sun really helped with drying, but I'm doing artificial drying in here with the hair dryer, so I'm going to give it another whirl. <laughs> too dry. We're not going to get too worked up about it. I'm going to sprinkle them again. What you're trying to do is get him a little bit of dimension and so now we have that and I'm going to take a dry brush and here's the color my daughter wanted. You can see. And I'm just going to Ah, that was a little bit too wet on the one spot. Just gonna kind of dry brush it off. But it kind of gives it a little a little speckle or whatnot. You could blow it too if you want to. Okay, and then the other thing you can do, here's what we try to do. We tried to take chalk and smush it, but it didn't work as great. You can buy chalk that is already like smushed up like the athletes use and whatnot. But I'm thinking if I can get a little bit of this chalk. Um, you could actually take the chalk and rub it on here. With a little piece. The chalk may stay on better. Just kind of rub it off like that. But y'all get the idea is that what you're trying to do, is, see some of it's still kind of wet a little bit. I think I have a piece of chalk. The other thing you could do, like I have this piece of chalk, I could go down these curves and do like that and kind of brush it off. I'll see that. So if you were doing a plain pumpkin, that's what I would do is, that's what we did with the plain pumpkins is we took the chalk and we went down the lines like that. And it looked really, really, really cute. Okay, so now, what do y'all think? Improvement from this color? Do y'all like it? Give me a heart if y'all think it's really cute. Should be a little 
wet or you think? Yes, it should be. Um, I think that was Deb who said that. It definitely should have been a little bit wetter, but I was afraid to sit here and wait for y'all to have to watch me, you know, watch paint dry. So um, it should be a little bit wetter for it to stick on, but let me show y'all my big one that I did. He's fully dry. He's really cute. And I'll plug it in for y'all so y'all can see. I'm disappointed. One of my plugs did not work. Um, my lights. So y'all tell me, can I buy, there he goes. Can you buy these things um, separately? Like this plug-in totally did not work. We changed the light bulbs. The light bulbs work. It's the actual plug. So my husband's still going to look at it. He's an electrical engineer. Hopefully he can figure it out. But anyhow, I might change the bulb to white. But I think they're really, really cute. I'm happy with them. I like them without the light, too. Let me unplug it. I'm going to, put this one, I'm going to show this one up close so y'all can see more of the... Y'all see the white on him? It did better because he was more wet and I got him at the right time. But I think they're really, really light. Clip lights. Um, someone used, used the, uh, something about pastels or charcoal. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. And Libby said, yes, you can buy them. On Amazon, okay, I'll be looking. Um, but what do y'all think? Do y'all think they're cute? Pottery Barn Dukes that are like 80 or more dollars each, even though they don't still have them, but I think they're really cute. I'm going to put them on my heart, and I'm going to close them up. My grandson's going to love them. He was playing with them all weekend. It was so cute. So I, felt, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Super fun. For this color, you need Pottery Urn, Pottery Urn from Sherwin-Williams, or what did I say? Clay pot is the more uh, terracotta color. So there you go. I think they're darling. I'm really happy. I think they're cute. I may need to get a medium one and have a trio. So I may do that. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And I got these at Lowe's. Um, I think the big one was $16.98. And this one I think was $9.98. And they did not have a medium one. Otherwise, I would have gotten a medium one. But I got them at Lowe's. I think they have them at Home Depot. I'm sure Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Hobby Lobby or, I don't know, Michael. Somebody has them. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all later. Bye.